Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California today. We're looking at a little guitar I got picked up on Craigslist for my new girlfriend. Ha ha ha. Maybe. If it's a miracle. Anyway, uh, this was her first guitar and she just joined a band. Anyway, uh, this, uh, it had a neck repair on it. And so, basically, it's supposedly been professionally repaired. It looks worse than uh, looks worse than the picture. Uh, it's really smooth and uh, seems to be fully intact. And what I've noticed is, first of all, when you're looking at the guitars, you want to make sure that you got these inner braces happening. These inner braces are all tight. They're not they're not flopping around or anything. What I didn't notice when I first bought it was this little bulge here. Got a little bit of a bulge there kind of rounded, round the top. And also this, it pulls that, uh, that bridge forward because of that. And then we can't take this down, but we do have a little bit of fret buzz. And we pluck it. Got a little, little bit of fret buzz there. And so what I noticed is if you look down the neck, See that it's got a little bit of a it's got a little bit of a forward bow, so it's, it's kind of cupping in the middle. So what I can do is, and it's a little bit, it's a little bit, it's a little bit ripply to a certain extent, but not too bad. I mean microscopically. But basically, we have a bow kind of going out this way. It's like a cut, right? And so what I can do is I can tighten up this truss rod just a little bit to bring that cup out, and I will bring this back a little bit. And what I might have to do is get another nut and or raise it up. Some people use that super glue trick where you can take uh, like super glue and uh, oh, a baking soda, baking powder, and fill in a little bit, bring this nut up. Or you could put a shim underneath it if you're lucky. And that's one way to do it. And uh, so emergency guitar repair service right here is what we got. It's got this nice little uh, amp. It's got the uh, nine volt battery hole here. It actually sounds pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> I fell in love with it. I fell in love with her and the guitar. So I bought the guitar. I'll probably be spending more time with the guitar than her. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's got a nice little volume control there. And uh, what's AMF? I'm not sure what the AMF is. That's uh, probably some tone control. But yeah, so I'll take this off and I'll give it, I'll see if that yeah, that truss rod is loose and, uh, and maybe give it a quarter turn and just wait uh, an hour or so and see what that does to this. And uh, otherwise, it's got hardly any wear. Well, maybe, maybe this, these frets have worn down a little bit. I'm not sure, but uh, they don't look too bad. For someone who's starting a band, uh, this was apparently her first, whatever, learning guitar that she had. So let's tighten up that truss rod and see if we can uh, bring, uh, bring some uh, better action. Okay, Bob Dickens. So this thing here has got, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got, there's glue <laughs> plugging up the truss rod. Uh, Tensioner. Basically, it's it's glue that's it's inside the, the tensioner. So I grab it with an Allen wrench. So I've got to probably drill it out. Um, yeah, you can see there's part of the crack right there, or that crack right there, and it's here. But I'm thinking that it's possible that this whole truss rod is glued in. Um, hopefully, they they weren't that sloppy, but. I'm gonna have to clean that truss rod out uh, with an Allen hole, Allen nut. And okay, so I tried to clean that out. I had a little drill bit. I tried to drill a little bit out in there. What I need is one of those T-handle. Uh, while I was looking at it, I may have got a couple of turns on it. What I tried to do is just stick a flathead the right size in there and try and adjust it that way. Just gonna conclude this video with looking at it. So we look at it. And we see that actually one side has a little bit of a bow. It's pretty much straight. From what I understand, it should actually go this way just more than straight. 
So it should come back this way a little bit more than straight. So this is actually pretty straight. It's pretty straight on right there. And then this other side, I think this other side is a little bit off. Let me take a look at it. So, yeah, it's this side here. It'll make sense because of the thicker strings. This side here has got a little bit of a, a little bit of a bend right here. You can see that, but it's kind of a little bit ripply right there. It's actually up here. So I don't think it's going to affect this. And so I'll put it back together and uh, have some fun.